So in the last video, we created this article list. And what we did was we used the belongs to relationship to reference the username of the user who posted the article, as you can see here. But what I want to do now is actually reverse this. I want to be able to display a profile for a user and inside that profile display the user's articles. So that's what we're going to look at today. And to do that, we're going to be uh, utilizing the has many relationship. So if I just go to my views here, you'll see that I've created a profile.blade.php just to make the video a bit quicker. So if I go to my roots file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say root get profile username. And then we're going to pass in a closure. And this is going to take the username. So if I just die and dump username and go to a browser, if we append profile Terry, you're going to see the username there. So what we need to do is we need to get that user from the database with the username of whatever was provided by the browser. So to do that, we're going to use our user model. We're going to say user where name equals username. And then we're going to get the first uh, the first record which matches that criteria. So hit refresh and we don't get anything. But if we just die and dump use down here, there we go, we get our eloquent uh, record. Now if we provide an invalid username, so like Terry D, we get null. And we want to provide some feedback to the user that the user wasn't found. So what we could do is we could say if not user app abort 404, hit refresh, and that would work. Or up here, we could just simply say first or fail. And that's going to get the first result in the database that matches the given criteria, or it's going to throw an exception, which will just look like a 404 page uh, in production. So now what we want to do is we want to return view make profile with users or with user user now I'm just going to delete this for now just so we can view this really quickly so hit refresh uh, nope we need to change the username so here we go we have Terry's profile so let's just check that this works for yep okay so everything is working fine what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my user model and I'm going to create a new method called articles. And inside here, what we're going to do is return this has many. And again, what we want to do is reference not the table, but the model that is assigned to that table. So in this case, it's article. So down here, if we just die and dump user articles, hit refresh, and we get our little JSON uh, array containing all of our articles. So down here, I'm just going to add a line break. And then I'm going to loop through all the articles for each articles as articles. And we're going to stop that loop. And we're going to add a header tag, which will be the article title. And then we're going to have the article body. So hit refresh and we're getting undefined variable. So let's go back to our roots file. Uh, oh, okay. We need to say user articles, my mistake. Hit refresh and there we have it. There's our users articles. So now if we go to Alex's profile, his articles are also being displayed. However, mine aren't, which is exactly what we want. 